So, Perplexity just launched their AI browser called Comet. And it's crazy. So, I wanted to quickly try out Comet to see how it differentiates from other browsers. So, let's quickly check it. So, here I am on the Comet browser and I've also opened the Amazon um, app. As you can see, the shopping cart is empty. And I'm going to add a prompt here. That is, can you please find me some fingerprint scanner for my Samsung laptop? This should be having very good rating and under 3000 INR. If you find one, please add it to my cart. Also try finding a very good wireless charger that suits Galaxy S24 Ultra and add it to the cart. So I'm just hitting enter. So what it actually does is it tries finding out the items that we have mentioned and opens our Amazon account if we are already logged in and adds these items into the cart. So let's wait and watch. Open tabs. As you can see, can you please find some? So it's actually finding this uh, items. Adding the AMIC Smart USB fingerprint reader to your cart. So you can see here, this is open right now and it will add it to the cart. There you go. And if I actually go to my shopping cart and refresh this, it is added, right? Now it goes on to check for the next item, which is the wireless charger. I can go and do anything else while that is running. So let's go to our YouTube channel and I'll open one of the videos. I don't know where is this coming from? Okay, so I'll have to first open this and let me go to one of the videos. Let's say this one and I can go to assistant here and ask summarize this video for me. So you can see the video is a part of 1000 days no code AI challenge by Ritesh Hegde. It introduces Stitch by Google, a free AI tool that lets users generate mobile and web app designs simply by describing them in plain English. No design skills or templates needed. So you can actually watch any video or you can ask it to summarize directly from the browser without using any other tool. Now we can also go to any of the apps. Let's say for example, let's say we go to OpenAI privacy. So I go to this page. Right. Instead of reading all of this details, I can directly ask, is my data safe if I use OpenAI? So here's what the OpenAI privacy page says about the safety of your data. Security measures, OpenAI implements technical, administrative, and organizational measures to protect your personal data from loss, misuse, unauthorized access, disclosure, alterations, or destruction. However, no internet or email transmissions is ever fully secure or error-free. So you should always be cautious about the information you provide. Data collection and use. OpenAI may collect personal data you provide, such as name, contact info, prompts, uploaded files, images, audio, communications with OpenAI, technical and usage data, device information and data from cookies and similar technologies. So it will brief you about the entire content that is available on this particular page. Unlike Chrome or other browsers where you will have to use some third party tools, on Comet you don't have to do that. That's not it. You can actually ask it to analyze about your business. Oh, and I also wanted to inform you, if you are a Yatel user, then Airtel has partnered with Perplexity to give you Perplexity Pro version free for 12 months. That's a great chance of using the AI and explore all the possible things without having to spending anything. That's not all. Let me go to LinkedIn. I might have not logged in into it. Let's see. Yeah, I am logged in. I'll randomly go with one example. Let's say this one. let's see if it actually does it you can see here the first post in your linkedin feed is by suleka t personal branding strategist uh, describing how she used ChatGPT to build a faceless youtube channel in just seven prompts and without appearing on camera she shares each of her seven prompts from types niche finder strategy script voiceover visuals monetization and growth audit 
okay so here are a few options you can use or adapt to write a cool and authentic comment you could complement the practical value of her step by step approach reference the faceless channel concept and or the use of ai prompts express excitement about the resource links or share how you will use them maybe add a playful emoji or clever closing line so it has given some four options okay let's read one of it love how you have distilled the process into actionable prompts suleika faceless channels plus ai equals to the ultimate growth hack for 2025 bookmark this course links to thanks for always dropping one so it actually does whatever you ask it to do i've also tried opening whatsapp and sending message to a particular number i do not want to showcase here because there are a few personal chats but this is crazy because you can ask it to do anything that you would have done otherwise now let's go back to the first one and see if it has actually uh, added the wireless charger what next you can review your amazon card to proceed with checkout let me go here refresh it and there you go it has actually added a wireless charger as well let me ask one more thing Google to Bangalore in the next days. Can you see on which day we have best price? Let's see what it does. So it has given me the pricing. So for those of you who have still not used Comet, please do give it a try because it's amazing. It is available on uh, macOS and Windows as of now, but it is uh, based on invite only. you cannot download it directly if you get a invite you can uh, download and start using it or you will have to join their waitlist i think by the time this goes live they may open it up for everyone but otherwise do let us know we will see if we can invite each other within the community and ensure that all of us get access to comet not just that people have tried creating facebook ads for their products by asking comet to research about their products and then create facebook ads targeting particular niche audience you can actually ask it to do anything that is done on browser if you have logged in into that account then comet can access it so do give it a try do not miss it and let me know in the comments below as to what did you try and what was the result did it give you a wow feeling and just before i let you go if you are exploring ai tools like this we have built a little whatsapp chatbot where you can ask questions like what is a ai tool that i can use for presentation or what is a tool that i can use for indian law or what is the tool that i can use for creating websites and so on so forth and the chatbot will actually give you a video link from our channel so do give it a try and let us know if you want us to improve that further thank you for watching and share it with your friends so they can also get amazed